welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. If you're new here, my name is Emily. I am 24 years old. I post videos on fashion looks. I like to vlog my daily life and I also like to do product reviews. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing my one month experience on rosehip oil or rose seed oil, however you want to say it. And yeah, I figured I would just share with you the results, go over what rosehip oil is, the benefits of it, why I decided to go on it, and brands that have good reviews on it and all that sort of stuff. So if this interests you, then just keep on watching. <laughs> so the main reason why I wanted to try rosehip oil was actually in one of my comments from my retinol video, someone mentioned I try rosehip seed oil for my acne scars. And for me, I thought the retinol would help with the acne scars, but they didn't. They more helped with my acne itself. And I wanted to really get deep into uh, my acne scars and kind of even it all out sort of thing. So I tried it. That's the reason why I went on it. So the benefits of rosehip oil are it regenerates and heals the skin. It also hydrates and moisturizes as well as exfoliates your skin to brighten it. It boosts the collagen formation. It reduces the hyperpigmentation, hence it has vitamin E in it. As well, it helps with sun damage, which my face has a lot of. <laughs> One thing that's important with rosehip oil that I did research is you, it doesn't mix well with your retinols. So during, I think I explained it, in a couple weeks where I was focusing more on retinol than the rosehip oil because certain times of my month hormone wise and that sort of stuff where I had spots I wanted to treat so I did that with retinol and I chose not to use rosehip oil at the same time so definitely do your research it's also important to talk to your dermatologist or your doctor about it because it's more towards your specific skin so definitely when trying out these oils and um, new products it's good to do your own research and talk to your doctor about it so you guys can discuss it together because you both know your skin. So yeah. so yeah, retinol was the really the only one that caught attention to me that you couldn't really mix it together but you can use it with other creams and oils and, uh, and cleansers and stuff like that. One important thing, especially if you are looking for cheaper versions of rose seed oil is make sure it's in an amber bottle so it's protected from the UV rays and stuff like that. So the one that I have been using is the open formula one. You can see it is amber jar and recently I got sent this one from Good Molecules and that is also in an amber jar as well. So just little things but make sure you are purchasing it in that for that very reason. Don't want to diminish the, uh, what is it called? potency of the product. So people who use rosehip oil, it's very beneficial for people with rosacea, uh, eczema, or eczema, and if you have other inflammatory skin issues. So my skin, I have early onset rosacea, so I get really red and in Oh, sorry, my uh, camera started, stopped recording there. Um, but yeah, so I it gets inflamed a lot and that sort of thing, so I wanted to see how that would react with my skin and if I saw any improvements with that. So those are the benefits, how you use it, getting in, started into your skin and what it is exactly. Now I'm gonna show you week one, two, and three updates on my skin as it carries on, and then I'm gonna go um, show you my final thoughts and all that stuff. Um. I guess I'll show you what products I'm using for the time being because I know I'm getting more products sent to me and I've also had to repurchase a few things. So the products that I'm using this week to take my makeup off, I've been using the Clinique Makeup Remover or Cleansing Balm. Then I've been double cleansing with my Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I've been going in with the Good Molecules Super Peptide Serum and then I have been applying the rosehip oil. Um, if I'm not applying the rosehip oil, then I'm using the Ordinary Retinol. Um, and then I always follow up with my Clinique Moisture Surge to moisturize afterwards. I don't think I'll be able to finish this Moisture Surge in this whole month experiment. I think I'm going to have to switch over to my um, Good Molecules Silicone Primer, so I don't know if that will change anything. Um, it could just be the difference of changing in products and stuff like that. But I figured this week those are the products that I'm using. I don't know if it's going to change later on, but I figured that is important to mention the other products that I'm using. Um, in terms of using the product itself, it, itself there's no burning, um, there's no flaking or anything like that that I noticed that I had with retinol. Everything seems pretty normal. The one thing I'm not a huge fan of, it could just be the product, is the little dipper or like, yeah, whatever like this bit is called. Um, it doesn't hold any other product. It just kind of like drips everywhere um, as I'm taking it out. So it doesn't hold the product in it. It just 
drips everywhere. Um, so that's probably my only thing that I've noticed that I don't like about it. Um, but formula itself, like there's no burning. Um, I'm just not super dry. It's actually like quite like my skin feels so hydrated. It's very smooth, all that sort of stuff. So, so far week one is good. I'm on my week two update on my skin. I just washed it so soft now. I was wearing a lot of makeup today. It's the one day in quarantine I actually wore makeup this week. I have noticed a little bit of a difference. So I finished my period last week or like this week. So my acne has calmed down a bit. Um, like I said in my previous one, I'm not using the rosehip oil while I'm on retinol. I don't mix them. Uh, so I haven't been doing that, but I did start to put them on now and I kind of noticed a little bit. That's still a big scar and so is this one here. Oh, I guess I have one up here as well. Um, so that would, oh, and that as well. That would be interesting to see how those will fade, if they will. But I kind of noticed a little bit of a difference here. I don't know if that's just the lighting or anything. I don't know. But yeah, um, I don't know what else to update with you guys with. That's just how this week is. Probably the same thoughts as me. I sneezed and I look like I was crying. Ew, it's so not flattering lighting. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, week three. This is my skin. Um, it feels really soft, um, which is nice. I'll ignore that. It's been there for a while and I feel like it's not going away anytime soon. But these lines have kind of started fading. Uh, oh, that's coming new. It's just not attractive. Uh, lighting and all that stuff, but anyway, it is getting there. I think, I don't know. I'm kind of disappointed because with retinol, I noticed a difference like each week something was happening, and I feel like with this, it just it's gonna be taking like it's gonna take some time to actually notice some difference and stuff. Like, I have noticed some lines, like, it's not as noticeable. I still notice like they're not like they're fading, they're just not fading as fast as I like them to. I think that's what I'm getting at. So I think that's just what it's going to be for this point. My one big thing that it's, it's hard getting between is when to use retinol, when to use the rosehip oil. I haven't really gotten to that routine of what I'm doing with my skin sort of thing. So anyway, so there's that. Um, a few new products that I have. Um, my cleanser, I ran out of my face cleanser, so I have been washing my face with the Clinique cleansing balm. I've just been taking my makeup off with this and then leaving it at that. I don't know if that's good or not. I just don't want to go into um, changing that in my skin of like getting, introducing a new cleanser, getting rid of that cleanser and then bringing back my old cleanser. Like it's just too much of a transformation for my skin that I'd rather just leave it at that and really double cleanse or like, sorry, not double cleanse, but like cleanse my face with my makeup. Um, and then another thing is I ran out of my Clinique moisturizer, so I am now using the Good Molecules Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. I do like this. It's very thick. It's not as like that gel formula like the Clinique one, so I'm kind of getting used to that. I don't feel as hydrated as the other one, but like my skin does look pretty good and look, sorry, I didn't mean to flip you off, um, feel a lot softer. So that is what's new with my products. I'll be using this for a while because Sephora is not shipping me my stuff. <laughs> so, I mean, there are bigger things going on in the world, so I can't complain that much. But anyway, um, it'll be a couple weeks before I get my regular products um, back again. So this is what I'm using for the time being. Um, and yeah, so I'm excited because next week I get to film, or a couple weeks I think, get to film my final thoughts and stuff. So hopefully those will kind of, we'll see some bit of a difference. But yeah, for now. Yeah. So those are my weekly updates and all that stuff. I didn't do a week four because I figured I, I'm in that now, so I might as well just like show you what it looks like. Um, obviously I have some makeup on. However, I don't have like a full face of makeup. I have like a light cream and um, like a cream contour and a cream highlight. So that's what I have on my face. Obviously like lipstick and mascara and stuff, but I am quite happy with it. I think I need to keep using it a bit longer to have more of a difference. I have noticed, I can't lie and say that I haven't noticed a difference in my scarring here. I just think it's really deep and it's been there for a while that it's not going to 
be a month on this product and it's going to go away. I think it's going to take probably six months for me to really notice a full difference, especially in photos and the creasing in my makeup and stuff like that. So anyway, so I'm going to zoom you in so you can see what my face looks like with makeup on because my other uh, videos I was doing, I, it was just a bare face. So yeah. So as you can see, you can still see some lines and my big scar here. This one's faded a bit and so has that one, but I still have those lines that I was really focusing on. Also, I did a hack job on my lipstick. I apologize. Um, so yeah, that's just something I want to keep looking out for and seeing if that will diminish over time. But it, I can't, I can say that I have noticed a difference um, in it all together. Um, there has been some fading. Um, it's just not completely gone. So I'm going to do another six months on it and or not another six months, but I'm going to give it six months and uh, see what the res final results will be. Getting really close into my skin. <laughs> the big difference. <laughs> so yeah, that is my one month update on using rosehip seed oil. Um, like I said, I think in week one or week two, I, w I am still using retinol. I'm just not using it at the same time. And I give a day break between using them and switching up the product. So it's not like I'm using retinol, then I'm using rose hip oil, I'm using retinol, then I'm taking a break, and then I'm using rose hip oil. Um, I don't know if that's the actual way of how you're supposed to do it. However, that's the way I do it and it works for my skin. Um, I will leave links of where to purchase these rose hip oils. I'll leave a link for both Good Molecules and Open Formulas. So you can go check it out if you'd like. Feel free to comment if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer them. I found in my last video of like my retinol and stuff, it was nice because people were asking questions and then other people were coming in to answer them. So I thought that was a really good kind of community to uh, get some answers. I've learned a lot from those comments and so have a lot of other people. So yeah, please, uh, if you have any questions, I'm sure someone or myself will get into answering them. So yeah. So yeah, that's all I have to say for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos from myself. And yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!